afternoon, everyone, uh, and welcome to Bachman's Facebook Live. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, and I'm so glad uh, that you're joining us or just beginning to join us uh, for this Facebook Live event. Uh, if this is your first one, welcome. Um, and if you've been here before for our Facebook Live events on Wednesdays and Fridays at noon, uh, welcome back. Um, these are meant to provide you with timely and relevant information for your own uh, gardens and homes. Um, and so we're so glad you're here. Uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments interact with us on the emojis and let us know where you're watching from we'd love to know um, so again uh, welcome my name is Karen Bachman tool and I am the director of marketing here and I'm very excited to kick off this series of Facebook live events that are dedicated uh, to a victory garden and a victory garden is something that uh, started in uh, after World War II and before the Great Depression as uh, really a call to action uh, for citizens to grow their own produce um, and healthy source of food. Um, and it was uh, a reliable uh, source that they could count on when they had it in their own backyards. Uh, today is a victory garden, you can call it a victory garden 2.0, um, might look a little bit different um, and have uh, different uh, benefits, um, but it still has the same great purpose um, of providing a steady food source, uh, especially during uh, these ever-changing times. Uh, gardening and being outdoors can give you a great sense of purpose and accomplishment. Um, oftentimes I've heard that the garden or the backyard is people's happy place. It's certainly my happy place. Um, but it's a, it's a way for you to unwind um, and really have purpose and a sense of achievement. Uh, so whatever your victory garden uh, looks like um, or the reason for it, whether it's for exercise, comfort, uh, produce, uh, we're going to help you get started. And so today we're talking about the methods uh, of uh, you can start your own victory garden. And the good news is, is you don't have to have a lot of space uh, to make a difference and to grow produce. So today we're going to be talking about containers, we're going to be talking about raised and elevated beds, as well as the traditional way um, of, of gardening in ground. Um, and the first thing is, is uh, with containers, uh, like I have here, this is a beautiful uh, raised uh, or glazed container. Um, and you can use these on balconies uh, or decks. Um, this trough is a great option uh, for those smaller spaces as well. Um, you're using uh, your own soil in there, so it's mitigating um, the risk of uh, disease uh, and insects. Uh, and it's also easy to maintain and mitigates uh, the chore of weeding. Um, and it also is a mobile option, so you can control temperature uh, as well as how much sun that it's getting. Uh, for elevated beds and raised beds, uh, those are ever increasing in popularity um, and I'm really excited to, uh, that we get to start working with this one. This is an L garden. It's a beautiful uh, elevated bed um, that is uh, the waist height, so it's easy uh, access, easy maintenance. Uh, raised beds can also be on the ground and are about knee high. Um, again, the benefits of raised beds are um, mitigation of uh, disease and insects. Uh, you are using uh, your own soil to fill that with um, and uh, of course the chore of weeding. Um, when you have your own plot of land that could uh, be at the side of your house, your front yard, your backyard, it could be big and small, uh, you can really determine uh, the size of an in-ground uh, garden bed. Um, it tends to be uh, more uh, financially economical. Um, you're using your own soil uh, and you have your own uh, plantable, uh, more plantable square feet. So let's talk a little bit uh, about containers. Um, for container gardening, um, I love using these mache pots. Um, think of a mache pot like a crock pot liner. Um, it really saves on cleanup um, and uh, it is easy for seasonal transition. So I've already put um, some Espoma organic potting mix uh, into this uh, container. I'm going to amend it a little bit with um, uh, some of our purple cow uh, compost. This is 
this great organic matter that has a lot of nutrients in it uh, for your vegetable plants. And so this entire mache pot can go right into your uh, decorative glaze container. Um, and that's all ready for you, right there. In terms of our raised bed, um, or even our garden trough, you know, we're, we're prepping this with soil, and then you can add compost, layer that in. And when you're adding bags of soil, make sure to break up uh, break it up with your hands and use a hand tool and really work it in. Um, if you're working in ground, you want to till that soil, um, add compost, um, and work it 6 to 12 inches deep. Um, and that's getting your soil uh, ready for planting uh, either seeds uh, or starter plants. And the same can be said for your garden trough as well. Now, before I prepped these, I added a layer of pea gravel um, and lava rock. Um, and this helps facilitate drainage. Um, lava rock is just what it sounds like. It's a porous uh, rock. And when you put that in the bottom of your container, or your elevated bed, uh, before your soil, it's just a really great way uh, to help ensure that uh, your own Victory Garden is going to have uh, the proper drainage. So we've used uh, compost, uh, we've used Espoma organic potting mix uh, for filling larger spaces um, for raised garden beds. You can also use uh, miracle Grow garden soil. It's a great economical way to fill uh, large spaces. Um, and so we hope that that uh, helps you out with that. Now, um, as we uh, explore the Victory Garden further, um, you will be able to watch us plant, um, either in row planting or square foot gardening. Um, we're going to be visiting this Victory Garden uh, throughout the garden season. We hope that you will share your own journey with us on social media, um, and uh, regardless of the method that you plan your own Victory Garden, you will find purpose, happiness, um, the added health benefits of being outside. Um, despite the cloudy weather today, uh, we hope that you will dig in um, and get working in your own victory garden. So thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.